Valerie. As I look into your eyes, I not only see the beautiful, elegant, selfless human that you are, but I also see our future. I see my wife, a giver, healer, a lover, and a mother. I see endless loops of joy, love, celebrations, and new adventures. There's, there's dance parties while making breakfast. <laughs> Afternoons picking fruit and pulling weeds in the garden. <laughs> oh. And there's countless walks, rides, and runs, and hikes through every landscape imaginable. <laughs> we're dining out, we're eating in, we're always saving room for ice cream. There's children, there's lots of them, most of them are ours. We're <laughs> surrounded by love, we're surrounded by those we love, and we're surrounded by those who love us. Our family is full and happy and beautiful. That family was founded today. Ryan, a few spring times ago, <clears throat> you had been planning a vacation to Europe. After showing me the meticulous spreadsheet of your itinerary, you nonchalantly mentioned that I should come along. I eagerly agreed after thinking about it for two whole seconds. However, I spent the next several weeks giving serious thought as to what I had just agreed to. Was this too spontaneous for me, and was I out of my mind? But after thoughtful consideration, I became confident in the realization that you were the kind of person that I wanted to experience my life with. As many of you know, Ryan and Val met over a racing bib in Philadelphia. They're both runners, and uh, I don't really understand why, but you get a lot of joy out of running. <laughs> and then you and I started, and I think that's like the key word, we started together the Marine Corps Marathon. And you know, we started and you took off and I, I didn't. <laughs> and I remember the exact moment that I'd gotten a text message from you. I was crossing mile 13, okay? 13, and I get a text message from you being like, hey man. How you doing? You want me to go run the last little bit with you? I hadn't even crossed the halfway point. You lapped me in a marathon. But Val, that's the kind of guy that you married today. The guy who will go back and run 13 more miles for the, the people he cares about. And Ryan, don't ever run a mile less for her. Whether you know it or not, you have a gift, a gift to put everyone you meet into a trance, a pleasant state of peace. Maybe it's your ear-to-ear -ear smile, your laugh, or your gentle, caring nature. But when people meet you, your soul seems to pull them in with a gravity so intense that any comparison will pull. On behalf of the bride and groom and their parents, Don and Eileen Horn, Isabella and Mike Nguyen, welcome to Mayfair Farms. Before we get started, I just wanted to take a moment and have you turn out towards your guests. I just wanted you to look at all these people who are here for you today. All these people are here because they love you, and by being here, they are promising to support you in your marriage and your future.
We're preparing the way for our beautiful girl. With this ring, I thee wed, wear it as a symbol of my pledge to love you selflessly more than each day before. From this day, I vow to always put our family's needs first, to keep you at the forefront of my thoughts, to cherish you always and never take you or us for granted. I will be there to listen and share when times get difficult, never adding to the problems, but working to resolve them. I promise to de dedicate myself to being a loving and kind husband and father, and I vow to let my love for you grow uninhibited and wild without end. With this ring, I thee wed, wear it as a symbol of my pledge to love you selflessly more than each day before. Love, as I came to know, is finding that person that when being around them not only energizes you, but simultaneously keeps you rooted and grounded. It's not only about finding someone that you love and look up to, but someone that you want to put first before anything else. Ryan, to me, love is and always will be you. From the moment you came into my life and every single day that has passed, I am still in awe of your kind, humble, generous, and deep respecting nature, and your energy and passion to enjoy all of life's moments, whether they be great or small, is undoubtedly contagious. That is why today, in front of our families and our closest friends, without any uncertainty, I choose you to be my husband. I promise to grow with you and always be your constant source of encouragement. And as a family, we will create a home filled with laughter, kindness, compassion, and dance parties every morning. <laughs> I'm so happy to call you my big brother. You are incredibly intelligent, supportive, and patient. You make her happy, inspire her, take care of her, travel with her, and are her true soulmate. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ryan, you may kiss your bride. You're my little sister, but I want you to know that I look up to you and I admire you for your strength as a person and your kindness and just the generosity of your spirit. Ryan, on Thursday night, your mom came up to me and just said, you're stuck with us now. <laughs> it's actually great. We couldn't be more thrilled about that. You've actually been part of our family for quite a long time, as far as we're concerned. And tonight, I'm so glad that we can make it official. So Valerie and Ryan, Wish you many years of love and happiness together.